Apple has officially released iOS 10.3 for everyone. The last major update to your iPhone or iPad before the big iOS 11 reveal in June. So what new features can you expect from this version of the operating system? You'll notice this first one as soon as you open your settings menu. At the top, you now have a new Apple ID profile section with information about all your Apple accounts, iCloud, iTunes, and family sharing. Scroll down to see a list of all the Apple devices associated to this account. You still need to log in to find my iPhone to locate them all, but it's a good shortcut. You'll find another much needed update right here in the settings menu. Click on iCloud to see a breakdown of how your cloud storage is being used up. This is useful especially if you pay for added iCloud storage. Click on the graph, then manage storage for a program and device specific breakdown of where the storage hogs are coming from. It's not perfect, but it's a step in the right direction in trying to understand the black hole that is iCloud. If you haven't activated the two-factor authentication on the account, which you should, you'll notice a new suggestion at the bottom of your profile. Now, it's not clear what other suggestions Apple may have appear down here, but to make it disappear, you'll have to follow directions. This will put an added layer of security on your account. Now, let's get out of the settings menu and make our way to Maps. If you happen to use Apple's own map system, you will now see a small weather bug at the bottom right-hand side of the screen that shows you the weather in that specific location which, if you're familiar with San Francisco's microclimates, can be incredibly helpful. 3D Touch or Long Press for an hourly breakdown for that area. This one will be a lifesaver if you bought the tiny little ear pods, because it's a given that you may have misplaced them at least once. This feature pings the last location of where they were paired to your device and makes them ring. Just make sure you're not wearing them when you ping them if you want to keep your hearing intact. Now remember, there's always a risk involved in updating your phone, so make sure to back it up before you take the plunge and make sure to check out CNET.com for the full list of iOS 10.3 features.